All right, going to Star Wars Day at the library. Almost time. Three tickets to the show. We have every single one. There's a lot now. That's actually a lot to ask. How many of you see? They were boxed in the bus. They walked the scene. But. And then Jar Jar. You guys like Jar Jar? But there's a whole like song. You can go YouTube it. A couple of announcements. Uh, my name is Steven. I'm one of the librarians here. Uh, there's Terry in the back, and Joe, who's our new children's librarian, and Deborah right there. Um, and Brad is also a library person, but today he's not. He's a special guest presenter. Uh, say, you've got. <laughs> Let's say you got something like this. This will be our Death Star. There's a balloon with water. That's right. That's right. And uh, this, this will be the planet of Alderaan. Do you guys remember Alderaan? Who lived on Alderaan? Princess Leia lived on Alderaan. Her family was all there. I need somebody to stand. Can you stand up real quick? Okay, stand right here. Yeah, leave your lightsaber. Don't, don't stab anybody with that. Okay. Can you hold Alderaan right there? Just hold Alderaan by the tip right there. Good, good, good. You live you lived on Alderaan? Okay. I'm very sorry to hear that because. You know what happened to Alderaan? Yeah. The Death Star came along, and Alderaan does not have a shield. It's a regular planet like ours. And so what does the Death Star do? Right? Oh, Take care of the planet, man. <laughs> so the Death Star had a big laser ray, right? And it aimed it at Alderaan with no shield. And that laser, it, it, it works, it heats things up, right? So it took that laser, hold it up nice and high, and it shot it towards Alderaan, which pierced the planet, came to the core, and it heats the planet up, and then all of a sudden, when it heats up, oh, goodness, no. Well, I don't think that's how that works, but... So now, the rebels, in order to protect other planets full of people, like ours maybe, they need, that's right, they needed to get rid of the Death Star, right? But, okay, who's going to hold this one for me? Stand right here.
the water, the, you know what the water is doing? It's not just that it's cold, because it's just from the tap, it's cold temperature water. It's dispersing that heat, spreading it out. And that's what a shield does. It takes all the power of that energy. It can't lose energy. It takes all the power of that energy and it disperses it. Yeah, the most random, strange thing doesn't non-stop. Hot dog. <laughs> More person places than things. Random and funny. Have them ready. I'm, I can go faster if you can. But Demo Gorgon. like that. In an Abe Lincoln far, far away. I don't know what that means. <laughs> All right. Episode 42, that is the answer to life, the universe, and everything. I can hear that from the The Mad Lib Menace. <laughs> Get it? Okay. <laughs> it is a period of civil hot dogs. <laughs> Rebel spaceships striking from a hidden banana <laughs> have won their first victory against the evil galactic Demogorgon. <laughs> <laughs> Darth Brad. What is Darth Brad? Uh, okay. He came to your school? Oh, uh, okay, wait, wait, wait. I think I did hear about this. I've had a lot of people this summer accusing me of being Dogman or Darth Brad, whatever that is. Uh, so I hear that yeah, I think he's like an evil twin or something. Because I was nowhere near oh, really? the school. Okay. We'll find out. We'll find out what he has to say. Let's see. It is I, Darth Brad, the half dog, half twin, half brother, who's very handsome, from another dimension, living in a galaxy far, far away, of this storytelling singer. Oh, oh yeah, there's something back here. Let's see. So dumb. Oh, but you told us to fill it up. We guess. Fill it up. And the Spring Riders. Point. So Petey got captured. Rats. Dogman reverse the word be gone 2000. Soon, all the books in the world got zapped back to normal. <laughs> Hooray for Dogman! Now, back to the epilogue. That's the story after the story. Because the next day, Dogman found a security camera video. They all watched it together. And soon they discovered who... sitting on the table. Ooh. And he immediately ate from the first bowl. Oh, oh geez. Oh, <laughs> this stew is much too hot. Oh. <laughs> so he tried the second bowl. Ooh, <laughs> 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 much too cold. <laughs> so he tried the third bowl. Now, with a very full belly, 
Jar Jar wanted to find a place to sit down. So he moved into the living room, and he sat down on the first chair he saw. Uh oh. This chair is much too big. So, so he sat down to the second chair he saw. He came in the door. Stay right here, Darth. And Darth looked at his bowl first and said, So one's been eating my stew. And then Yoda looked at his bowl and said, Someone has been. <laughs> and Chewie looked at his bowl and said, mm. <laughs> Of course, means someone's eating my stew all up. Oh. So. Someone's been sitting in my chair. <laughs> and Yoda looked at his chair and said, mm. My sitting chair bin has two someone. <laughs> and Chewbacca saw his chair and said, Of course, me. Someone's been sitting in my chair and they broke it. Oh. So, investigating further, they went upstairs to the bedrooms. Darth looked at his bed and said, Someone's been sleeping in my bed. And you saw his bed and said, mm, sleeping in someone has to my ear. <laughs> Chewbacca saw his bed with Jar Jar in it and said, mm, which of course means someone's been sleeping in my bed and there he is. To which Dark said, It's a rebel spy. And Yoda said, Since you're exiled, he must go. And Chewbacca said, <laughs> Which this time meant, <laughs> And both Jar Jar, who jumped up and ran away, never to be seen again. The end. Take <laughs> I hope you have your papers. All right, bud. <laughs> Thank you. Come on over. That's pretty simple. You should talk to him. Be like, um, how do I join? I'm, I'm on the dark side. I'm on the dark side, as you can tell. See, he's on the dark side. What did you think of the show? Yeah? That was pretty neat. Okay, we just got back from the library. It's a couple days later from Star Wars Day. Today is Saturday. And... We entered a, um, camera's over here this time. We entered a competition or a little, yeah, I guess a competition or a drawing to get some Star Wars books and I won. He won. He won. So let's take a look at what kind of books we got. They're all Star Wars related, obviously. So let's do this real quick. I didn't want to do it in the library for obvious reasons because... There we go. Star Wars, The Essential Guide to Droids. That's cool. And then we got... I'll roll down the windows. The Essential Guide to Weapons and Technology. Okay. And look me. The Essential Guide to Vehicles and Vessels. And then... What else do we got? Oh, wait. oh yeah. Star Wars in 100 Scenes Lego Dude. <laughs> this is like the ultimate... We can start building stuff. You're gonna be you're gonna be like Anakin and start building stuff. Anakin is your do doppelganger. What do you think, guys? Is Anakin his doppelganger? I think so. I'm not biased though. Wow. That's pretty cool. 
All right, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Those are all the schematics. Very oh. cool. I mean, they're not. I'm trying to find one. Yeah. Where's the sturdy destroyer? That's crazy. You got four books of this. No, three. Or three, yeah. Oh, yeah, because the other one is the hundred scenes. There's something close to the sturdy destroyer. Whoa. Let's start building. No, this is not for me. I'm not building this. <laughs> We we'll have to be doing this to even make one of these. No, you gotta go around and you gotta go around and get scraps like Ray. We'll just go to junkyards and start getting scraps Dude, and building stuff. Dude, the Millennium Falcon was not the scrap. <laughs> oh boy, I, I think I offended him. Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching. But before you go, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and smash the bell right next to it so you can get notifications of all our new videos. In the meantime, be sure to check out all of our other playlists, Kiki Cafe, Shenanigan Shorts, Illumina Family Travels, and so many more. You can find us on Instagram and Twitter, and coming soon, our own Patreon page. Check us out at Illumina Coquina. Thank you so much for your support.